Hi everyone and welcome to this LIDAR 360 tutorial. Today we'll be focusing on the use of the strip alignment tools. So first you want to launch LIDAR 360 and load the sample data into the project. Under strip alignment in the toolbar, click strip alignment to open the strip alignment window. Uh, in strip alignment window, you can set the working directory and the output files will be placed in the working directory folder. So go ahead and click open trajectory file and select the pose file. In the open trajectory files window under info tab, match the columns with data headers. So the grid X and grid Y columns will be used when the point cloud is in a local data set, such as this uh, sample data set. Uh, if the data set does not have grid X and grid Y columns, uh, a coordinate system that matches the coordinate system of your point cloud needs to be uh, selected. So go ahead and click apply. Now click draw polygon and draw polygon on top of the point cloud. Uh, click split trajectory and the split trajectories will be displayed in different colors. Only the trajectories within the planned survey flight will be used in the strip alignment process. Therefore, select the unwanted trajectories and use the delete trajectory files button to delete them. Then click yes to permanently delete the files. Now go ahead and click cut point cloud based on trajectories in the select point cloud file window and make sure that the sample data file is selected and then click OK. Click yes to add data to the current project and then you can split the point cloud data sets into layers. So then click cut point cloud based on trajectories in the select point cloud file window and make sure that the sample data file is selected and then click OK. Click yes to add data to the current project. The split point cloud data sets are added to layers uh, and then you can click match point cloud and trajectory. Now under layers, remove the sample data layer and you will see the colored point clouds. Then click profile on the toolbar to open up the profile window and adjust the buffer to 0.1 and click uh, the profile tool in the profile window to draw a line over the rooftop of the building. In the profile window, uh, you may zoom in to examine the current alignment qualities. So then click transform in the transform window and click calculate to automatically calculate the angle error parameters. Uh, by default, only the angle error parameters roll, pitch and heading are checked for automatic calculation. Now when you're finished, the alignment quality statistics and boresight correction parameters are shown in the window. Uh, notice that the errors and RMSC are reduced after alignment. Now click apply to apply the transformation parameters to the point cloud data set on the fly. Use the profile tool to examine the alignment quality. Now in transformation type, change the loaded point cloud to selected point cloud files. The bore site correction parameters can be saved as a TXT file, and then you can click apply to apply the transformation to the source point cloud data sets. Then click cut overlap uh, and make sure all point clouds are selected here. Uh, accept the default parameters and click OK to run. Uh, when finished, four new point cloud data sets are added to the project. Uh, 
So then click data management, point cloud tools, and finally merge. And then make sure the four final process point cloud data sets are selected as inputs for the merge tool. Set the output path and also the name of the output data set. Then you can click OK to run the tool. And that is your strip alignment workflow within LiDAR 360. So please check out our YouTube page for more tutorials and training materials for LiDAR 360 and our other software offerings. Thank you.